Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today I am going to be showing off these two kits. I've assembled them for you. I chose the Storm Drake Guard option rather than the Knight Draconis option. I will tell you why towards the end of the video. And I chose to do Krondus as Kazarai the Scarred. And why? I guess I will also tell you at the end of the video. So make certain you watch all the way through. <laughs> I think they're actually big enough where we can just do it right here. Look at him. Look at this guy. As you can see, I do not have him attached to the base yet. Oop, oop, oop. He is a perfectly finished dragon, short, one little hole in his foot. Um, when he's off the base, you could certainly easily put him on a different base, but this, you know, it's fine. Eh. Get him on there. This is what he looks like when he's on his base. A fine specimen of dragon. Uh, what you get after you assemble them is not much. You get some toes uh, and his brother's head and that is about it. You also get his brother's collar and his bracers. Um, uh, and that's, that's it. There are no more extra wings or anything like that. That's about it. So now let's take a look at exactly what he looks like. Do you see all those details? He is so detailed. Now, they tried very hard to make it such that the mold lines disappeared when you assemble them. Now, I still would suggest most certainly, I know some of you for some reason love to do super glue on your plastic miniatures, but I would suggest if you're going with this, this $180 Canadian model, um, go for the plastic glue. Nice, thin, easy to apply plastic glue. This fine finish is due to the fact that every time I put together a piece, I went back over it nice and tidily with plastic glue to get rid of that join line. There's one that I have left that I haven't done yet. Um, everything else is well attached with the extra plastic glue. Now I chose very thin plastic glue so it went into the crevices and if it dries it will dry um, in crevices and will not change the plastic. It's only if you put pressure on it or accidentally put your finger on it while it's drying um, that that you would change what the plastic looks like. That's the nice thing about that very thin plastic glue. Now here is an example of where I have to go back and put more plastic glue in to get rid of the break. Right there, see? Plastic glue used. And plastic glue that needs to have another layer. So that is him. He is 600 points. Either variant, 600 points. I chose Karazai the Scarred because I liked, I liked his lore and his appearance and that he didn't have a collar on. It seemed kind of strange that um, the son of a draconian uh, who saved Sigmar would have a collar on. I don't know, just me. Um, and I, I liked his scarred appearance. I am going to be painting them on, on the channel. I'm going to give him a celestial look. So same color scheme, reddish color scheme, but with a celestial option. The next thing I'm going to show you are the Storm Drake Guard. Now I haven't attached them to their bases and I have not attached them to this either. They're complete. Oh, and I haven't attached this fellow. They're all completely separate from each other so that you can paint it with ease um, or change up who you have uh, have seated. So these guys, same as with their bigger brother, uh, the mold lines were made such that they disappeared and when you added additional thin plastic glue or uh, liquid cement, they disappeared even more. They're really nicely done. The dragon wings can go on either body. Um, there's only one way to put each of the tails. Um, 
And but because the dragon wings can go on either body, it feels like the arms and legs can also go on either body, which means that you have um, some freedom with how you assemble uh, how it moves. It has four different neck options, four orientations of its neck, and two different heads. Uh, except for you do get an additional head because one of them is the Knight Draconis's dragon who has um, little armor plates over top his two his his two horns. Uh, the only thing different in appearance between the Knight Arc uh, Knight Draconis and uh, the regular Storm Drake Guard is that this this thing here he is uh, the Knight Arcanis. Uh, this is the female one. The Knight Arcanist has a cloak and a flaming sword and a round shield and a comb coming off of its head. There are multiple heads to choose from and you have extra swords. I went with for the lance and shield. You could go with a sword and shield. Uh, they've got a slightly different body torsos to fit that well without um, everything getting in its own way. The torsos are just little a little extra torso don't really know what you could do with that one but uh the extra blades and of course the knight draconis's sword looks great and the shield oh not shield well yes the shield but the, the cloak has some dragon patterns to it you've got seven extra heads i just chose the ones that i like the most so the extra heads there's the flaming sword which I definitely think you could use for 40k as well. It's a, uh, it doesn't have anything too fantasy style, and even the uh, the grip is in a gauntleted hand. So you could put that on his face, or no problem. I think. Did I show you guys these guys? So you can see they've got stirrups on their feet and lovely lances. The heads are, uh, the, the arms go in a particular position, they are on a dragon, um, but the heads you can adjust them however you like. That's the head that I chose. There is only two breastplates, one is male and one is female. They don't have any extra beyond that. Um, however, if you got two of these guys, like if you chose to do the storm guard first and then changed your mind and thought, darn it, I'd like to have one of them a knight draconis. Well, you could probably just add the extra pieces. Hack off the arm that you wanted to have a flame and add the extra pieces, no problem. But um, you could also grab another of these storm drake guard kits and just use your extra pieces from your first one to turn both of them into the Knight Draconis. The male, the male fellow um, was meant to be the one to turn into the Knight Draconis, but I don't see you'd have any difficulty having her turn into a Knight Draconis as well with a little bit more, with just a little bit um, extra cutting down of her shoulder because the arm attaches at the shoulder so I think it'd be pretty easy to do that and you will be putting on the shoulder pad which comes separate to cover up any um any strangeness that might have occurred when you're adding them if you had any questions about that do let me know uh, it will take several hours to get the big dragon or and or the two dragons done uh, yeah, expect to take some time to do it because those two are over 50 pieces each as well. Oh right, the question, why did I choose the Storm Guard over the Knight Draconis plus Storm Guard? So there's two options that you could do. Uh, you can choose a Knight Draconis and one Storm Guard. And they could be, uh, they could be two different units. Uh, for each Knight Draconis you have, you can have one Storm Guard. That's what it says in the book. And that's 400 points for those two things. Or you could have two Storm Guard, which is what I chose, which is 285 points. That's 115 points less. Now the Knight Draconis is the same as the Storm Guard, with the exception that he has two more wounds and he has more savage attacks. 
five attacks with your sword at three plus to hit, two plus to wound, rend minus three, two damage. And he has an ability that allows your storm guard to get off a free shoot, um, a shoot attack once per battle. Now I, and he's a hero, so he has all the heroes and heroes are important, but I already have a lot of heroes. I don't think I need any more, so I'm going to take my 115 points and put them somewhere else. These guys are savage at 285 points. They're quite the savage pair. I'm going to play it like that. If I change my mind, I will purchase myself a another one. Oh yes, I do believe I need to mention that Games Workshop gave me these guys um, to review, but I will definitely be purchasing another one of these. Do I want both kinds of dragons? I kind of do. These are 130 Canadian, which I find is fantastic in comparison to the 180. I mean, he's a, he's a big honking dragon, I suppose, but I definitely want to acquire um, a couple more of these guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. If you had any questions about the assembly of these models or gluing them together or anything like that that I didn't happen to mention, please let me know in the comments below and I will catch you in the next video. Bye. If you want the Knight Draconis option, plus one Storm Guard, plus that, that's a thousand points, three models, go for it. <laughs> I don't know how I will do. Don't know, but I, I would like to find out.